that was exactly what I wanted to do. Simple, classic technique, but with a kind of, you know, rocky style. Dark fruits with roasted chocolate and gingerbread. Honeycomb with cream fraiche ice cream. Cool. Thank you, gentlemen. Great. These are two interesting looking dishes, aren't they? Yeah. How spectacular that, that honeycomb look. Yeah, really, yeah. really good. But I'm also quite curious about the other dish too. I mean, it, you know, if, if it's dark fruits and then it's hidden mm. by, it could be quite interesting. Let's go then. Yeah, it's a generous serve of ice cream, isn't it? Yeah. Mind you, if it's all about the ice cream, I'd be happy to get that in a restaurant. Honeycomb and ice cream. I mean, it's d delicious, it's understated, and yeah. um, you think it might, might be a bit two-dimensional in terms of the, those flavours, um, but the, the sourness and the creaminess of that, that ice cream against the bitterness and the openness and the, you know, how tender is that, just that centre of the honeycomb. You know, it, it breaks apart, it melts in the mouth. It's, yeah. it's a really lovely, classic combination. And, it, and the simplicity is it, is it all you want is the caramel and the ice cream, and that honeycomb is just unbelievable. Yeah, like it's the, very the, good honeycomb. That is so beautiful. Like the aeration on that, there's a massive pockets. You know, it's just, it's beautiful. And the ice cream's flawless. Right, let's taste the next dish. Oh, I like that. You like this? Mm, yeah. I like it. There's lots of little things to discover. So if those things that are there to be discovered are delicious, mm. then that would be a lovely dessert. Lovely. Let's have a taste of it. It's Christmas. It's kind of Black Forest Gatto as well. Yeah. You know, it's kind of a crumble version of Black Forest Gatto too. You know, with those cherries, cherry syrup, vanilla cream, um, caramelised chocolate in there as well. I think that's really tight. That's delicious. That's a lovely combination of, of, of chocolate and fruit and nut. We talk about, you know, dishes that are deconstructed that we don't like. Mm. This is one I do like because it actually makes sense. And that's got lots of stuff on there that are really delicious. Acidity, um, sweetness, the roasting of the plum, I love. Yeah, the, 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 the plum really lifts that, that dish, doesn't it? I think if you just go on chocolate, chocolate cherries, it'd be quite yeah. two-dimensional. But that, but that plum is almost satiny smooth and it adds a real punch of acidity um, into this, which, it, which makes it not too sweet. And I think the, the, the nuts and I, the grated Brazil nut, such a, such a simple but such a great way of adding, adding texture and making you feel like this is a true Australian kind of summer Christmas dessert. It's yeah. got all those flavours that you associate with the, with the spices and the, um, in the ginger cake. Um, it's a really assured dish. Well, one was simple and delicious, and one's a little more complex, deconstructed and delicious. I, I like both equally. I think that, you know, it's one of those things where you pop stuff on the table and you gravitate towards the ice cream and honeycomb because it looks amazing and, and kind of theatrical. But then you find this one and go, oh, actually, I think I might take this one for myself. Let's score it. It's going to be interesting. Shall we go? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. What a day! Three head-to-head -head cook offs. Three immunity pins up for grabs and some brilliant desserts. Shannon, what was it like in the kitchen? We wanted to be in here, by the way. There was a lot of energy and a few new skills being learned. So it was, it was great. It was fun. great. Yeah. Well, it was a brilliant tasting, so let's get down to the nitty gritty and reveal the scores. 
Let's start with the mango custard and the layer cake. Who cooked what? Oh, you two. So, Reynolds, what did you cook? I uh, cooked Tropic. Tropic, and what was that? Uh, that was the mango cream with the white chocolate and uh, pineapple. Beautiful. So, Callum, that meant you cooked? The layer cake. OK. Let's see how you went. In order to get an immunity pin today, I have to beat Reynolds. I know that I've got some good elements on the plate, but I don't know how the rest of the elements are going to work together. Callan, we loved the cucumber granita and the fruit, but the sponge, the Prosecco jelly and that chocolate ganache sauce just didn't work together. Sorry. I scored your dish. Five out of ten. Reynold? That was a beautiful dish. We love the theatre of it, the combination of fresh tropical flavours and such a beautiful, delicious, creamy custard. Just absolutely beautiful. Well done. I scored your dish... ..a nine out of ten. <laughs> Callan, I scored your dish... Five out of ten. Reynolds, I scored your dish a nine out of ten. <laughs> Callum, I scored your dish six out of ten. Reynolds, I scored your dish nine out of ten. Reynold, that means you got 27 out of 30. Callum, I'm sorry, you only got 16, and that means you don't win a pin today. That's all right. Wasn't my best cook today, but uh, I never thought I'd be walking into this kitchen saying that I cooked against Reynold. Who cooked the tweel with the matcha curd and the chocolate and orange? Great. So, Angelique and Dinah. Angelique, what did you cook? The tweel. The tweel. And Diana? Orange and chocolate. OK. Diana, I scored your dish five out of ten. Angelique, I scored your dish ten out of ten. <laughs> Angelique, that twill dish was absolutely flawless. Diana, I scored your dish a six. Out of ten. Angelique, I scored your dish a ten out of ten. <laughs> Pretty as a picture, classic techniques, but so modern in flavour. It was a beautiful dessert, thank you. Dinah, I scored your dessert seven out of ten. Angelique, I scored your dessert 10 out of 10. <laughs> Diana, I'm sorry to say that you haven't won a pin today, but Angelique, that is 30 out of 30, the perfect score. So, congratulations, big round of applause. That was exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah. Sit classic technique, but with a kind of, you know, rocky style. Even though I'm not walking out with a pin today, I'm just so happy to have met Angelique. She's just such a lovely person. She's got this amazing personality. And it's just such a great opportunity to have a cook-off against her. So, Sam, Lauren, who cooked the cherry dessert and who cooked the honeycomb dessert? I cook the cherry. Lauren, I'm assuming that we could honey come. Let's see how you went. Callan and Diana didn't have the best cooks. They got average scores, and I'm a bit worried that mine's going to be the same. Sam, I scored your dish. Nine out of ten. Oh, Sam, that was like an Australian summer Christmas. We love the rich plums, the little hits of milk chocolate and that gingerbread. Great stuff. Well done. Thanks. Lauren, I scored your dish. 
9 out of 10. Oh, the bitterness and the lightness of the honeycomb combined with that rich, smooth, creamy creme fraiche ice cream. Wonderful pairing, delicious dessert, well done. Sam, I scored your dish a nine out of 10. I scored your dish, Lauren, a nine out of 10. Wow, some good scores up this end. Neck and neck so far. Yeah. Sam, you nervous? <laughs> I'm nervous as hell. Lauren, <laughs> nervous? I am. I mean, I want Sam to do well, but I also don't want to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I thought it was a great dish, really. Thank you. I gave you a 9 out of 10. <laughs> So, Sam, you've scored 27 out of 30. Lauren, you're on 18 out of 30. And that means you need a 10 out of 10 from me to beat Sam. Even I'm nervous. I'm waiting for Gary's score, and I can actually feel my heart beating through my chest. Lauren, I've made a lot of honeycomb in my time but never made some quite as good as yours. However, you only had two elements on the plate. And I couldn't fault either. 10 out of 10. Really proud of myself and the dish that I put up today. I had a concept from the beginning and went neck and neck with a professional chef right to the end. Oh, Sam, sorry. So close. A really great dish. We were kind of hoping that we would give at least one pin away today, but I think the professionals bought their A game, and Lauren, that was a clincher. That dessert is absolutely a classic and, and beautiful. Lauren. Angelique Reynolds, thank you so much for taking time out in your lives um, to come into the MasterChef kitchen and obviously uh, not only you know, cook for the reputations of yourselves and your restaurants, but come in here and show all of these guys some new techniques, some new ideas. It's wonderful and it's what our industry is all about. We've loved having you guys here, but now it's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much and hopefully we'll see you guys very, very soon. Thank you. Well done. Good job. Beautiful. I had a really good day. It has been a long time that I didn't have this adrenaline, so I'm really happy. It's amazing to be back in the MasterChef kitchen. MasterChef can change your life in many different ways, so whether it's food or um, having to realise your dream. In a way, kind of like sparking your food passion. MasterChef kind of draws all that out, and you're in an environment where it's just like, this is what I love.